Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hopefully everyone is doing well. Happy New Year and all of that great stuff. Happy New Year. Wanda here of Wanda Budgets and Beyond. And I'm just going to do a little brief reading and commentary along the way with regards to a story that I saw. Uh, it was it's from CNBC and it's about spend. And it was published last year, <laughs> December the 20th at 10.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and this is from CNBC. And it's about couples, and yes, you see the, uh, the, the thing there, debt, couples have to talk openly about debt, etc. So this is a story about Aldo and Cassandra, and that this couple is in, or did have, and hopefully it's been reduced, $520,000 in debt, and that does, does include their mortgage. We've been living a life maybe we shouldn't be living. I'm going to read this first uh, paragraph. It's not uncommon for people to keep financial secrets from their partners. Mm. Nearly one in four Americans in relationships admit to keeping a money-related secret from their significant other, according to a 2023 bank rate survey. Of course, not a good way to start out when you are keeping secrets from your significant other, husband, etc., husband or wife, etc. So that's why we need to talk openly about the debt that we have when we first come into or get into a relationship. And of course, as you know, you probably not going to talk about on the first or second or third date. But as it continues to go on and you see the um, the relationship going someplace whatever that means to you, hopefully, you know, engage and they get married, et cetera. You see the relationship going someplace, then you definitely need to start talking about that your finances with the other person, you know, your financial thoughts, are you a spender, a saver, et cetera, your debts, your goals, wishes, et cetera, in the financial realm, you know, home, children, how you're going to manage the children and the money, all of that good stuff needs to be talked about more sooner than later because you don't want to get into a marriage and then you find out all of this financial turmoil, trauma, et cetera, that a person has had when some of those things could have been talked and discussed about up front when the relationship got serious. So per the story, their mortgage was like 339000 The student loans was um, 14163000 in home renovations, personal loans, and credit card debt. And one thing that I always mention is that money is psychological, et cetera. In the story, in the story, it says, real money heroes have a sidekick under the subheading. Growing up, Aldo's family didn't have a lot of money. And he learned at a young age not to ask for things because he saw how much finances stressed his parents out, he told Seth, Sethi. In adulthood, he continued to believe that money is stressful and tried to handle it all on his own. As a child, he understood his family didn't have a lot. As a result, he tried to make sure he, Cassandra, and their children have a comfortable life. So going back to his childhood, he saw that um, financial stress out of his parents. However, that presented itself to him. Of course, we know that when you role model type, when you role model things, good, better, and different, your children are seeing, they're learning, they are picking it up, and they are taking it on board. Especially if it, if you're not talking about why you're stressed out about something, etc., then they take it on board as like this is normal behavior. Maybe others, maybe other people in the world, you know, stress out about money also and too. But nonetheless, into adulthood, he didn't want uh, to be stressed out about money. And he wanted to make sure that his family had a comfortable life. And that entails part of why, you know, they ended up in the $520,000 of debt. They did have a joint income of $165,000. And $127,000 of that um, was in commissions or will be in commissions for this year, I guess, 2023. So the husband, in the story, it said that the husband handled the finances of the wife pretty much had a hands-off approach. She didn't know some of the things with regards to the financial uh, situation picture, but not everything. And everything should be known. Everything should be known. And um, Ramit Sethi is the person that they talked to uh, 
with regards to their financial situation. And here are the things that he recommended that they do. And it, of course, every situation is different. This one is specific to Aldo and Cassandra. And the three things that he recommended for them was to put every bonus or commission check towards paying off the debt. He recommended that they start by putting 80% of any bonuses towards the debt and then 20% to build up their savings. No more credit cards, no more credit cards at all. And he recommended that once they finish paying off that particular account, then to uh, close, out, close out that particular credit card account. And also to get honest about their discre discretionary spending. What all are you spending your money on? You have to take time to really focus on and consider what you need to purchase something new, etc. Can it wait? Can you wait? Can you save up? Can you do sinking funds, etc.? So this is some some of the things that you know I've talked about, and other people in the budgeting community and the financial area have talked about also too. Yeah, but the main point was well, some of the main points, and there are many besides what I mentioned here. You know, don't keep secrets. You have to talk about your financial picture like that. Like I mentioned at the beginning, when you are getting on into the relationship and you see that it's going somewhere, you have to bring up the financial thing. You do not want to be married you know, to someone that spends, spends, spends. Don't say they're just living for the moment, et cetera. And you, and you have to be watching out for some of the signs when you are dating. You have to be watching out for some of the signs when you are dating. And if you do get married, you both should know each other's financial situation. Like I said at the beginning, but if you don't, you miss it, you don't ask, etc. Once you get into the relationship, and if you are putting your money together, then you are going to see what type of person the other person is with regards to their financial situation. Uh, if you're putting it, yes. And some people in marriages, etc., they may not put their money together. And if they don't put their money together, I would highly suggest that they know what is going on with the other person. All of their account numbers, I hope that this would just happen naturally as you are married. All of their banking information, their investing, their retirement savings information, account numbers, contact information, where the money is coming from. If you all are doing a 50-50 or 70-30, if someone is paying the mortgage and the lights, what checking account is that coming from how is that being paid which bank etc all of that good stuff so things need to be talked about if you want to put it all together just in general things need to be talked about if you're putting all the money together fine it's coming out of one account all the bills are coming out of one account everyone knows what all is going on and i had mentioned before and i know that a lot of people have these uh in case something happens to me binder folder journal log etc where you have all your accounts listed, you know, mortgage, you know, electricity, your, your retirement accounts, savings accounts, checking accounts, all of that for each person, contact information. So if something happens to you or your spouse, then you all know where to go, who all needs to be paid, how that particular place was being paid, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely couples have to talk openly about it. And if you do, that is a great thing. And if you have like a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly meeting about your finances, your financial picture for you for you and yourself and your family, that is a great thing also unto. But definitely communicating, communicating, and communicating about your finances is key. Thank you all for joining me. I do appreciate it. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you already haven't to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.